Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from OnlinePhotographyTraining.com. In our last video, I demonstrated a method to extract great detail from an image. It's a method that was popularized by a German photographer named Calvin Hollywood, and he calls it Freaky Amazing Details. And in that video, I showed you this multi-step process to create this great detail or to extract that great detail and I also created an action for it and I have that action available uh, for download as donationware and about a hundred people downloaded it and a few of you actually made a donation. Uh, thank you very much everyone that did make a donation. I really do appreciate it. It's because of you I'm able to make these free photography how-to videos. But I digress. One question I got several times from several different photographers is they'd like the action, they like the, the whole process of applying this detail or extracting this detail, but they don't want to apply it to the entire image. They just want to apply it to a very specific part of their image. And I didn't really demonstrate how to do that. So I'm going to do that in this video. As you can see, it's a picture of a bird. And I'd like to add some detail to the bird, but I don't really want to add detail anywhere else. So I'm going to use that action that I talked about. So I'm going to go up to my Actions panel. And it's uh, Morganti Details, I called it. And we're just going to run the action. And you can see once it finally does its thing and it runs the, the action. And again, for those of you that didn't see that video, I go over in detail how to do this step by step. So you don't have to use the action. You actually could create this yourself. So um, I ran the action though. And as you can see, it added detail. So I'm going to turn it off and then turn it on. And you can see it added detail everywhere. Look at the leaves up in here as I turn it on. You can see it added detail there. And I prefer not to have that detail there. I just want the detail on the bird. So. To do that actually is very easy, and I apologize I didn't explain how to do this in that other video. If you remember, when you run the action, or if you do this on your own step by step, we have all the layers that pertain to this function in a group. It's called details right here. And if I close the group, you can see everything is self-contained in this folder or group. Well, what we can do is we could add a mask to the group and then use the mask to apply the sharpening or this detail extractor only to where we want it to be. So I have the folder closed up. I'm going to add a mask. I'd like to add actually a black mask. If I add a black mask, it's going to block the effect everywhere. And then I'll be able to brush it in where I want it. So I'm going to go down to this little mask icon, but to add a black mask, you have to hold the Alt or Option key in. If I just clicked on it without holding in the Alt or Option key, I'd get a white mask. So I'm going to hold the Alt or Option. If you have a PC, it's the Alt key. If you have a Mac, it's the Option key. And click on the mask. And you can see now we have a black mask. And if I turn this layer off, you can see nothing's happening. It, the mask totally blocked it. So I'm going to get a brush. I'm going to hit the B key for the brush. I want to paint in white on the mask. So make sure you're clicked on the mask. Don't be clicked anywhere else but the mask. We want to paint in white. If you don't have black and white here, hit D on your keyboard. D stands for default. You're getting the default colors. You want white in the foreground. So make sure the swatch of white is in the foreground. If it isn't, just hit the X key on your keyboard and you'll swap them. We have the brush. I think I want probably hardness somewhere in the middle, so around 50%. And then I'm simply going to get a brush that is the right size by hitting the bracket keys. The right bracket key makes the brush larger. Left bracket key makes the brush smaller. And we're going to then brush in the detail. As you could see with every brush stroke. And by the way, I have opacity and flow of my brush at 100% and I'm using it in normal mode. So I'm brushing in the detail on this crazy looking bird. 
And I'll get a smaller brush when I need to by hitting the left bracket key and we'll come down in here and we'll go down here. Get his leg and his claw. So very quickly, that's it. And if we take a look at the mask by holding the Alt or Option key while clicking it on the mask, you could see there is our mask. And I could paint right on this also and maybe hit these spots I missed. Okay. Hold that Alt or Option key in again as I click on the mask again. And then we could see what we're dealing with. It looks like I missed a big spot up in here. Now, one other thing I'll show you, this is actually a little bit too sharp, isn't it? It's a little bit too crispy. So what we could do, because this entire group is its own layer, I could change the opacity of that layer. So right here where it says opacity, if I hover over the word opacity, you'll see the cursor turns into that little hand. That's called a scrubby slider. Then I could just click with the left mouse button and drag the mouse to the left and I could change the opacity of this later layer. If it's at zero, it doesn't do anything. But as I move the opacity up, I could adjust it till I get the amount of detail I want to on the bird. And around 33% looks pretty good. There's before and there's after. I'm not sure you could discern that in the video. We always lose some resolution when I render the video but trust me it looks nice and sharp and I didn't sharpen anything else but the bird. So that's how you would apply this uh, detail extraction to the specific part of the image you want it applied to. Thank you everyone that emailed me asking me this question. It's a great question. I should have included that in that last video. Thank you everyone again who made donations when you downloaded the action. Um, I will again have the link for that action in the description below this video. So check it out and thank you again everyone that watches my videos. I truly do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.